Welcome back, Ninja community and persons that might have watched my quality statement disclaimer video. If you haven't seen that already, you should probably go and check that out. In this video, I'm going to be covering some uh, ninja techniques with various weapons. Various weapons. And uh, before I really get into it, I'll cover a little bit of my quality statement for those that haven't seen my quality statement disclaimer video. This is mostly for liability, as some of these techniques would be considered deadly, if not lethal. So, uh, bear with me real quick as I run through this. Uh, the viewer understands my quality statement disclaimer video additionally agrees that this video could be treated as is with ballistic protection, which in short means I don't have a seal on it, therefore I don't guarantee the techniques and or your application of techniques. And if you're watching this video with the intention of using any of its content in committing a crime, that is also a crime. Actually using my content in committing a crime is an additional crime. Okay, so getting into some of the techniques and some of it is not uh, very applicable to nunchucks. I will try to demonstrate the same technique with various weapons without modifying or drastically modifying the movements. Okay, so the, I guess the first one I'll cover would be the Tonfa. Let's set this here. Okay, the Tonfa, this is a side handle baton, evolved from a crutch, supposedly. So, how a ninja would demonstrate from this position is a strike or a shot to the nose, right, like right here, done either here or in here, and it can be done from various positions with this, okay, so it can be done from here, so a broom shot to the nose, right, a side swipe as you step to the side of the head, and as you see, if they ducked in closer, it would be worse. Okay, and then follow through with a strike right here. So that looks like from here. It was just a rim shot to the nose, side swipe, and a strike. Okay. So moving on to the next weapon. Now say, if you needed to improvise a weapon, you could break a chair leg. Maybe it might uh, break off with like a leg, make you a side handle baton. I don't know how effective that would be. But with an improvised weapon, it would pretty much be the same technique. It would be a break shot to the nose, a side swipe, and as the weapon is shorter, you would use the elbow and you come back down for a strike here. Okay, the next weapon, to use a hammer. Improvised weapon would be a shot to the nose, side swipe with the elbow. As this weapon is much shorter, you pretty much skip using the longer ended handle. Right, so a shot to the nose, elbow swipe, and a strike. Yeah. Okay. The next weapon would be an axe. Okay. So, a shot to the face, a uh, swipe to the side of the head, and finishing them off. Okay. The next weapon would be a Nice. Okay, so we come from here. Now, one of the reasons to use this position here, holding it like this, as opposed to walking around with it either like this or like this, is that you, if you do not have a shield to use by holding it in the middle, you would want to be able to force block with it. Okay, so the same technique comes from here, 
with a shot to the face, a slike, and a strike, finishing them off. Okay, now with a, with a mag light, or even a tuba hand, if, say, you're holding it this way, instead of this way as a longer mag light would provide with a striking weapon. If you're holding it this way, it would still be a shot to the face, an elbow swipe, and of course you could just back, pivoting back fist or to the side, right? Okay, with a Tubo tan, it is a shot to the nose. An elbow strike to the side. It is a slap to the side of the head as you come in and finish them off or hit them up near the collar. Okay. With, with a, I'm going to emulate using a rifle with a airsoft rifle as you see okay and of course this could also have like a fixed bayonet right making it very much like a knife on the end okay so I'll emulate the technique the same technique with a emulated airsoft rifle. There we are. Okay, so it comes from, if it had a bayonet, a stab to the mouth. Okay, a side swipe to the side of the head. Okay, that looks like this. And a chop or cut with the fixed bayonet. Or you could just hit them with barrel. Being a very large piece of metal, I'm sure it would do a lot of damage. Now with a kukri, okay. with a kukri, would pretty much be the same movement, but you have another hand much like with the Magalite or Kamatan or Kubotan. Okay, it comes from a strike to the face, an elbow, sw an elbow swipe if they had stepped in to the side of the head, a distraction hit by slapping them in the face, and then a chop, okay, or a stepping chop. This technique, this ninja technique, it's like if I was using a machete, being strike, strike, strike. This technique is also ambiguous with using a European style sword before it had been drawn. Right? and what you could draw in the process of striking. Okay. And it could be done from either this position or even this position. Okay. I will demonstrate both. Okay. It comes from here as a strike to the head, a side swipe, and you would not follow through as the movement would be slightly modified without drastically modifying the movement. In its place, it would very much more likely be a strike to the head, side swipe, and a poke. Okay, the other way would be a shot to the face, a side swipe, and from here you would forego to here and chop, hoping that the 
weapon head we come unsheathed along the way. So if you've watched the video so far, feel free to hit like, hard like a ninja, and subscribe to be alerted for when I do videos on YouTube. I'll cover the technique with and then chuck it without drastically modifying the movement and without the fancy um, other techniques. So it would basically be from here, it would be more of a shot. So a stepping shot to the face, right near the nose. Okay. You could come around differently with an unchuku with a radius strike to the side of the head and then a distraction hit by slapping them in the face and then striking with a diagonal, stepping diagonal strike. So that is the very same technique performed with various weapons. We'll go back to the mace or the morning star. Of course, every Every morning star is a mace, but not every mace is a morning star. For it to be a morning star, it would have to be a two-handed mace and spiked, making it a morning star. If it were one-handed and just blunted, much like a chair leg, it would almost be a mace. Okay, so the same technique performed and breaking it down a little bit more in detail with this as it is not really uh, as complicated as the other variations. With the British shot to the face, okay, the movement going straight forward as opposed to drawing it back does not flag the movement, does not tell your opponent that you are about to strike them. It comes straight out from there. It is almost uh, it is almost impossible for them to detect the strike before it is done. Very differently would be drawing the weapon back. This would let your opponent know that you are about to strike. Okay, so the technique coming from right here. Okay. Is not flag the movement. You can come from back here or here in different positions. But it is essentially the same movement. Okay, this step here, as it flows into cocking the movement, okay, instead of flagging the movement, you have put yourself in the position have just as much power with that strike, the same type of strike. And it being ambiguous with an axe, so an axe, if you were using an axe one-handed, getting off would probably be best to hold it in the center and probably with a shortened axe handle. But if you're using it two-handed, we want it here. The strike is the same does not flag the movement. And moving forward is much easier to move forward than it is to move backwards. Okay. The strike here, stepping, puts you in this position here to either swing or step forward with more power. Okay. Now, you can also check me out on Facebook under my artist name, Melel, or my 10th Ninja name. That's E-M-E-L-E-O. -E and I have an Instagram, but I'm not telling you what my Instagram name is. You'll just have to be Ninja and go figure that out yourself. So, like, comment, share. Check out my other videos. And you can share my video with people who are Ninja but not with people who ought to be ninja because they might accidentally learn something. Uh, what else would I cover on this video?
to like, comment, share, subscribe. Well, until next time, stay ninja, my friends. Stay ninja.